So I'm a student at the University of Chicago, and I study economics and public policy. Uh, basically means I read a lot of dead old white guys' readings and a lot of theoretical math, like a lot of theoretical math. Um, but college isn't too bad. Uh, what I also get to do is lead Tech Team, which is a two-sided mission of providing digital strategy to under-resourced nonprofits. And I also get to get students more comfortable with tech. Um, and this really led me to becoming a Microsoft Civic Tech Fellow. But some of you may be wondering, like, and of course, what would a corporate presentation be without a cheesy stock photo? <laughs> uh, um, some of you may be wondering, what does that even mean? Um, why Microsoft Civic Tech? And so when I introduce myself like that, a lot of people have this apprehension um, because everyone's, and rightfully so, uh, and, is, and something as organic as Civic Tech, uh, there's always some suspicion of some guy that's like working for the man. Um, and my presentation here is kind of to talk about why we're a little bit different. Um, I'm not trying to sell you anything as much as I love Bing. Um, I don't have any like s selling quotas. I'm not trying to push any products. We're really just here to help. Um, and so what we do, we show up and we give you free stuff. And um, I'm also here for the empanadas as a you know starving college student. Um, but what I really want to take away from what I've learned from Shy Hack Night and being here is that only in civic tech are you going to find a space where it doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter whether you're a teacher, a student, nonprofit, developer, anyone. You have a right to be here and contribute because this era of the hooded hacker is completely gone. And I never really like envisioned that until I came here. Um, and it was just really cool that everyone comes here to build with the community for the community. And that's something that's never been done before. And that is why I love civic tech. Um, but there is, there is still work to be done. Um, within civic tech, there's a lot of digital fragmentation um, just because a lot of people are working on the same project. And so what Microsoft and a lot of other people hope to do is provide a ton of resources. Um, so I'm going to go through a quick list of resources that we provide for free because I'm not a corporate shill. Um, and yeah, you can talk to me afterward and we'll have a conversation. Uh, some of you may have met Adam, but I would love to talk to you and just see how we could help. Um, so let's go through all this. Um, Azure, uh, we give you free tools to just play around with Microsoft Azure, uh, the cloud computing platform. So yeah, super awesome. What else do we have? BizSpark, um, if you guys are interested in starting your own startup, it's three years of just like $2 million worth of startup uh, software. So super awesome. As well as digital literacy and development for those of you with nonprofits and certain educational programs. Uh, this is a free curriculum that's online. Finally, uh, or not finally, sorry, we have product donations for nonprofits. Uh, you can get in touch with me, but you know, Microsoft Office, Cloud 360, uh, Office 365, a lot of stuff good there. And finally, we have service loans. Um, so that was a lot, but uh, yeah, I would really like to say thank you to this community. Um, it's been wonderful to be a part of it, and uh, I hope we can get to know each other. Thank you.